And to display our posts at the bottom, we'll head down to our build function, at the very bottom, and remember we have a list of widgets in our list view. So we're going to, after the profile header, add a divider widget. For this, we'll set height to 0, 0.0 to remove any padding that this has intrinsically. And then we'll execute a function called build profile posts. So we'll create this. And this is going to be for displaying our posts after we've fetched them. So we're going to fetch them by going up to the top and creating an init state method for profile state. And we're going to call a function here called get profile posts. So let's make this. At the beginning, very much like our edit profile page, we want to set state to say that we're in a loading state. So we'll set is loading to true. And we need to make this is loading boolean, which will be false by default. Then we'll take our posts ref, and specifically the document for the profile user's ID. So that's going to come from widget.profileID. Then we'll want to get their collection of user posts. And we want to order them by the field timestamp in descending order. So we want to get the latest posts down to the oldest posts. And at the end, we'll call get documents. So we want to await this, make this an async function. And we'll put the result in a snapshot variable, type query snapshot. So we'll import Firestore here. And then finally, we're going to set state with a number of values. First, of course, we'll set is loading to false once, once we have our data. We'll want to set a post count value. So that's what's going to be used for profile to display the number of posts that we have. So we'll create an integer post count set initially to 0. And that value is going to come from snapshot.documents dot length, the number of documents that we're fetching. And then for posts, here we'll iterate over snapshot.documents with map. And for each document, we want to deserialize the post document snapshot with post dot from document, pass in doc to it, and make sure to import our new post widget. Then at the end, we'll call to list. And in our state, we'll create a list of type posts called posts. And that will, by default, be an empty list. So all the way back down in build profile posts, let's configure everything, display our posts by saying, if we're in a loading state, then we'll return our familiar circular progress. However, when we have our data, we just want to return a column where children is set to our list of posts stored in state. So finally, let's save profile and take a look at the result. We might have to do a hot restart. If we return to our own profile, we see underneath our header our expanded view of our one post. At least I have one post where we see the post owner, the location, the delete button, the image, the buttons here, like and comment, the number of likes. And since I added one user's ID to our likes map and set it to true, we have it set to one. And we have username and the description associated with the post. And there's one last step I forgot to add, and that is display our post count here within the post count column. So let's head back and navigate to the build count column execution. We're providing posts as the label, and now we're going to pass in the value that we have stored in our post count variable in state. So when we save and take a look at our simulator, 
we see now we have one post here. So we've made a lot of progress in this video. We added a lot of code and we're really far on our way to building out our application, especially when it comes to displaying our posts. And in the next video, we'll see how to display our posts in an alternate manner by creating this post tile variant and see how to toggle between a grid view and a list view, which is the view that we created right here.